Hey guys, welcome to Tunnel Tinkers. In this episode, I will be continuing with our Bloodfall Catacombs uh, test adventure. Uh, what I want to do is kind of examine uh, a couple of the these ugly switch statements that we've got going on, and and see if we can uh, make them a bit nicer. Uh, we'll start with this process command. So we enter a string. Uh, we get it up here. The first word of the string that we enter uh, becomes the command, and then we use a switch statement to decide what to do. But and there's a lot of duplicated code here, like the look command uh, basically maps to the uh, look command. Sorry, the string look maps to the look command, and the move command. The move string maps to the move command. So the only thing that really changes is this part. So first of all, let's uh, create a command. Whoops, can't do that there. Let's do it here. And then instead of calling uh, this method in multiple places, we'll just move it down to here and we'll just use the command. And then ensure that it Backwards, that would break the game. Now, we can't really uh, do this because we don't have anything to handle when a uh, a string is invalid. So Let's do that. If there's anything else, uh, well, add that. And we'll add a break here. So if we need something to basically handle uh, when they've entered the command badly. I as we know from command up on to command up bad command. So it's a bit more clearer. Handlers that handle bad command doesn't exist but we can create it. And we'll just output a message. I do not know how to do this. Okay, so let's test it. Does the game still work? Have I broken it all? Uh, look. If not. Okay, so it all, it all seems to be still working fine. I'll just put a uh, full stop here. Okay, so. This is better, um, but there's still a bit of repetition going on here. Um, so I, I say we break this out and make the uh, start building a more complex uh, command parser.
Okay. So. Instead of processing the command here, we'll just use this to get the command. We'll rename process command to get command. Just realized that we can uh, just use this and get rid of the default case. In fact, we don't even need to do that. We can just add returns here. So all we're doing now in this method is working out which command was uh, entered by the user and returning the strongly uh, typed version of that. And now this doesn't need the arguments anymore, so we can get rid of that. Okay. this up a little bit and put the default back in to make it a bit clearer command up back command okay <laughs> so now we just get the command and then we pass in the uh, the arguments okay so let's move this to the other class we've just created Create the command. Yeah, the command parser. Drop it in here. And we'll bring it in. It's obviously a private method that I will use. Just make it public. Now it's public. Uh, okay. So let's run the game again. Look. This is refactoring. We haven't actually changed how the program works. Except I think I never messed if you type something silly. Okay. There we go. Uh I think that will wrap it up for this lesson. Uh, we'll carry on uh, with this line of inquiry in the next one. Uh, thank you guys.